what's good, what's good, everyone, it's Obey the Summer Trip here, and obviously we are now going to be looking a bit more into the markets, you know, um, I was actually looking at NASDAQ, I was looking at also um, the DEX markets, so I was like, you know what, why not share this with, you know, uh, my people, just so you guys can be able to get some value that we'll be seeing, not only that, you know, what are the future movements of, you know, um, the markets during the week, but if you haven't um, seen, you know, the interview that I had with Joy Schneidu, just make sure that you do go back onto the videos that I've uploaded, and check it out, as it's very valuable, guys, you know, I've learned a lot from the guy, you know, like, me and him speaking, you know, it actually did play a part, you know, and I believe that you too can get in as much, but not only that, just make sure that you do subscribe onto this YouTube channel, as, you know, you'll be seeing a lot of, you know, successful currency traders not only that also index traders that are making it and that are making it big you know so um those are things that we're going to be sticking on to but yeah let's see um the let's start off first with the us um 100 nasdaq most people know it as nasdaq so okay so let me just start off first with um the bigger structures here on the daily so you can simply see here on the daily beautiful upward trend we've had you know we've had you know our lows being here our higher lows being here you know and higher lows so basically what happened here is that this was our previous higher lows and our price couldn't break here because take a look at this meaning that if price breaks here then it's a change of trend on the bigger structure né? but price never broke down there so we are still looking at you know this being an upward trend so we pushed up now we came down maybe this forming a higher low can get to a point where you know um one thing that i speak about in the premium team is that um we get to a point where we evolve there's a full session or a lesson that i have you know where i was speaking about um evolving patterns and structures where we'll get to a point where we'll have to evolve this and this will be our second touch like this and you know press will be moving on forward and stuff so yeah let's just leave it a bit for now let's just have it like this because you can see what happened here is that yes it did break out but it didn't break out impulsively because uh, mostly what we want our breakouts we actually want them to be impulsive breakouts now. so yeah it did break out but it didn't break out um, impulsively so yeah, that is one thing that we're looking at okay then let me go down on the 4 hour charts remove this here okay so now on the 4 hour chart I'm um, just waiting this from the side putting it here let's speak a bit more about these types of patterns né? let's speak a bit more about this so what happens is that with the market um these patterns you'd see um normally after an impulsive move to the downside if you see a descending type pattern and descending type patterns um, simply means that price has to break a bit more to the upside né? so what you do is that you would just filter out this descending type pattern on its own né? you would filter it out then boom then you'd be looking for a buy setup and once it does break the first target is here by the 90% rule this is where our first target is right here the 90% rule so structure should be going all the way up to there okay. so let me remove this real quick there we go there we go so price yes you can see here we had our lower highs and it broke out 90% rule so I can easily draw a box or a zone however you guys want it to be around these areas you actually profit but yeah let me leave it like this but this one will be looking to take profit we broke out we came back to retest even if I may evolve this you can see we came back to retest engulfing we pushed a bit more to the upside so now we are stuck within the space so we either have two types of choices here but knowing the mindset that you know on the bigger time frame we're actually going to the upside we know what steps to be looking for or what steps that we can take um let's say now i can easily say that this is going to be a head and shoulders left shoulder head right shoulder we are on j and then boom i go down i can have that mindset but even though it's valid it's not wrong of me to see that way it's valid but the most important thing is actually you know when you're seeing it as um you know since we're now in an upper trend why is it that I don't only stick to looking for buys? Sells would be reverse sells. Yes, if it does happen, a, a, a thing, um, head and shoulders, then you can capitalize the movement to the downside. It's okay, you won't um, miss out on trades. But let's focus on what the market is telling us now. So, um, easily you can see I've got my first touch. I think I drew this one here on the one hour. Let's see. Yeah. I've got my first touches here. But my first touches here. Okay, sorry about that. I was actually speaking with premium members this side. 
but I've got my first second and just during the week we actually made some profits um, on Friday we closed a bit of profit somewhere around here um, I'll show you guys how but yeah you know so yeah either price can just come once more to the downside give us some sort of a double bottom structure double bottom structure and then boom go all the way to the upside you know boom go all the way to the upside all players can easily just shoot from where it's at now man. this can also happen so let's see on the 15 minutes so last week um, on Friday what we done is that we had a setup on here we bought somewhere around here this is where we bought yeah I think it was here and our stop loss was like yeah okay, our stop loss is somewhere here because it didn't take us out it needed to take us out our stop loss was somewhere around here yeah. and then boom it activated us it went a bit up it went a bit down it went a bit up it went a bit down boom it shot up our take profit profit was actually here but as soon as it shut up i told members guys lock in profits time to lock in profits we started locking in profits and then we took maximum profits i think it was like somewhere here we took maximum profits and then we, we were out at this time because you know nfp i'm um, not only that but you know a lot of factors were allowing us to put in to lock as much profits as possible so that's when we felt comfortable with that and we went out with profits i think around here we closed um because I was putting maybe around five, four hundred to five hundred dollars in you know summer year, but yeah, I think I, I went out with maybe three hundred dollars. I'm not too sure, but somehow around those numbers they, ne. Especially coming from a slow week, but yeah, you know this week is actually gonna be a profitable one. Only winning, winning mindset and everything, so that's how it should be. But yeah, so I then spotted this. I was like, should I enter? Should I leave? Should I? What should I do? But I was like, you know what? Let me just leave it since it's Friday. Let me not try to force in a lot of trades. So I left it. And now this week is what I'm I'm actually seeing now. Okay, see what price is doing. Impulse, a young creative structure. So it might be seeing a break to the upside. But I want these um you know lines to actually get us. I want this line to get us, you know, so when it does get here, we get to see what actually is happening because you may find out that price can build some sort of a resistance somewhere around here. Yeah? Take a look at this, it can. But once it does break this, once price goes, take a look, already it's, it's, it's perfect to be bought. Like, take a look at this. It impulsed, it's now correcting. Can easily have a stop loss here. Buy. But you have to see what happens here because. Once it gets here, it can easily break out, come back, beat as a support, and then boom, all the way. Then you know you take profit here, first target obviously is here, 5%, easy, ne? 5%, and you know, um, overall strategy, remember, we're still going all the way to the upside, you know, you can easily lose the 10% on this. So I'm a bit more tempted to enter this, but let's see what, what's happening on the 5 minute. Okay, I'm a bit more tempted to execute on this trade because it's looking beautiful, it's looking super clean. So I think I'll just place, you know, some stops on it. So yeah, that's actually what we're looking at for Nasdaq. Ne? Just have to be careful on what happens when it gets here. So yeah, this is Nasdaq, guys. So let us see the next one, which is DAX. I choose the wrong one. There we go. Okay, there we go. For our chart. Price came all the way to the downside. Boom. Printed us this beautiful pattern and then broke out imp impulsively to the upside. And then you know um now it came back with also a young beautiful um pattern because it's an impulse correction. But at the end, we're still coming all the way upwards to here with the DEX markets, right? We're still seeing DEX coming all the way up to here. So, first target obviously can be somewhere around here. These areas can be first targets. Let me just move this real quick. First target is here. There we go. So, it will actually guide us now. Let me go on the one hour chart. We're on the one hour, one hour, super simple. First touch, second touch, third touch, went up. So now there's a high chance of us breaking to the upside, ne? 
higher chance of us breaking to the upside, although it is very clean, very solid. We had a gap, you know, normally when you see a gap that happens either to the upside or to the downside, it means that, you know, a lot of momentum is to that um, gap side, man. So let's say if the market is here, then it opens up, it's a bit more higher. Yes, you know, gap fill, you know, most people say gap fill, the old sell, just it closes the gap and so on, on which is valid, you can do that. But normally it, it also states that, you know, there's a lot of momentum to the upside that it couldn't even wait. So you should um, have that in mind. So we got a gap a bit more to the upside. Boom, gap to the upside here, you can see market closed here, it kept open here and then obviously if I may have my lines here, um, I would easily draw this but I decided to not have it because nah? I can see it so you can easily see first touch, second touch, third touch, boom, shot up and now it's just pushing all the way to the upside so the, 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 the best way that you can be buying decks, nah? the best way that you can be buying this is if eventually if it does close um, above you know these areas and then it comes back to retest this as um, support because you can simply see that now it's at the resistance so you can be buying at the resistance but once it does you know close it close above it broke out of resistance and then once it does the retest or you know so give it some sort of so give us some sort of a support area then that's the perfect way to buy it because we are still going all the way to the upside with the tax market now so it's gonna be a beautiful one but I'm super confident with you know these two trees that I, sh I just shared with you guys now Hope that you all find you know a lot of um I, I don't know like a lot of value from not only this video but the ones that you know I do have on my YouTube channel and yeah I'm excited to be you know I'm sharing these videos with you so I will I guess I'll have to see you on another video that I'm gonna be posting soon so by it someone to be make sure that you do subscribe make sure that you do get to like this video too and share it with people that you care about because you know if you get in the knowledge why not them get the knowledge too so yeah I will see you guys.